Hello and welcome to this uh, video tutorial. I'm going to show you the solutions to the exercises which you have been given as part of the preparation for your exam. So this is the first exercise, a temperature to temperature conversion Fahrenheit to centigrade. I'm uh, sure you have done this already by yourself. If not, we have done a video of this and I've shared with you the code also. Now we're going to look at the second um, exercise here. The second question says there are three numbers, you need to calculate their total and also calculate their sum. These are the formulas, very simple ones. All you need to do is to create these um, labels and text boxes and the buttons on the interface and do the calculation. So let's do that now quickly. I'm going to create a new project. Make sure it's a C-Sharp Windows Forms application project and give it a name. I give it um, exam review exercises and then uh, you'll see a default form in front of you in form of this I'm going to give it uh, something like this calculations um, just a second yeah so I've created the project um, which has number one number two and number three I'm going to calculate some and then I'm going to calculate average also so I hope all of you can draw can design the interface like this by yourself so I'm going to focus on the programming part so to do the calculate sum you need to double click on this button and do programming within this block where Visual Studio asks you to do the programming and so first of all what I'm going to do is declare variables once I've got the variables declaration I'm going to uh, read user input user input and then I'm going to do calculation sorry about this calculation and then display results okay so first of all the variables so I need variables for storing these three values obviously I'm assuming they're coming in um, integer if I if you're instructed to do an integer you do this integer if you're instructed to do this in floating point you do this in floating point so let's say declare variables I'm going to do this integer num1 num2 num3 okay and you can just declare and leave it like that over there or if you want to give values you can give values like this it's up to you so I'm just declaring only num uh, number one and number two I'm going to initialize number three to zero but all of these since they're in the same line they are integers the other option is if you want to do the same thing it's this int num2 int num3 is equal to 0. Now since we do not know the values of any of these we can either initialize them with 0 or just declare them and leave the values over there so which means we have just re um, reserved them uh, reserved in the memory these variables without the values. So now the second uh, thing we want to do is to read the user input. To read the user input make sure you write the names correctly of uh, the text boxes so I'm going to come down to name section and see num1 txt that's the name I'm going to give it num1 txt this is num2 txt meaningful names is very crucial you should write and give meaningful names to the widgets only which are being read in the program these ones we can leave, al leave them alone because these are the, just the labels and we are not using them in our program this one should be calculate sum so let's say this one is sum btn and this one is average so I'm gonna say avg btn which means average this one should display sum over here so I'm gonna say sum label and this is average so say average or avg label okay so go back to your program read user inputs I'm gonna read user input from num1 txt so I'll have an integer uh, integer is there already so yeah num1 is equal to num1 txt dot text and you will convert this whole into integer so int dot parse and put all of this inside brackets okay so I'm gonna put inside brackets that's my num1 and then 
num2 is equal to in dot parse num2 txt dot text dot text to read the text inside that num2 txt component num3 is equal to in dot parse num3 txt dot text yes this one okay i've, go, I've read the values now i'll read the calc do the calculation so i'll declare a variable int result or int sum is equal to num1 plus num2 these variables integer variables i'm gonna just add them plus num3 okay and display the result that's just i'm gonna result um, label or some label sorry some label dot text that's how you display the result is equal to sum okay sum dot to string because whenever you want to display any integer you write dot to string so let's test this by pressing the start button here the sum is 2 plus 3 plus 2 2 3 5 6 7 should be the result here we have not done this so this does not work all right so num1 num2 num3 you add these and you display the result now if you want to do this in points all you need to do is just change these to float the values to the float and the parsing also to float so the conversion also should be in the float and calculation should also be in float and you save it and you run it and let's say I want to do average of 1.5 plus 2.25 plus 3.25 calculate sum it gives you 7 again numbers we gave was giving the actual result in float so let's change these numbers 1.055 1 1.234 1 and maybe 55.12 gives us this floating point number so the same code works only the numbers we have changed uh, the numbers those which were input by the user so this is my sum I'm gonna go to the design again calculate average I'm gonna do all of this again except the formula is different so let me just copy and paste all of this control C control V so uh, reading the user declaring the variables reading user input doing the calculation is the different part so I'm gonna s just uh, do the changes here and the changes says add them together divide by 3 that's the only change so I add them together and I divide them by 3 okay so let me just do this here so what's the average 3 4 5 12 divided by 3 5 plus 4 plus 3 is 12 divided by 3 the average should be 3 calculate average so make sure okay this is the sum Calc the sum is correct but the calculate average 5 6 7 8 9 10 11, 12 12 divided by 3 is 4 yeah 4 should be the result but it should be he shown here not here uh, let's fix that quickly some label it should be actually avg label dot text yeah so yeah 5 5 5 should be 15 here and should be 5 here and 5 6 7 should be 18 here and should be 6 here okay and then maybe 5.5 6 point and maybe 12 point something else should be here and should be here a different result so that's how you do the calc the first part now the second interface uh, the third one basically we have done first and second already is US dollars conversion to into UA dirhams alright so US dollars conversion into a different into UA, uh, the dirhams is very simple there's a uh, one US dollars contains 3.7 so let me just write there one US dollar is equal to 3.7 dirhams so in exam you will get the formula anyway so let's do this I've got the interface already I believe so I'm gonna just open this form 2.cs and this guy's name is uh, let's give it a name this is USD TXT and this is 
UAE TXT. I'm gonna what the name of the button is calc btn I'll give and then I'm gonna show here uh, do with the programming part so I'm gonna just uh, first of all declare variables read user input calculation display result wow so I need int for USD and dirhams and now I need to read the values so in this case it says read the value of US dollars and convert into dirhams so it's very simple let's read the value of USD uh, USD is equal to USD txt dot text and I'll put the whole thing in each dot parse I'm gonna do that in dot parse now and I'll do the calculation now USD the value uh, of uh, dirhams now the value of dirhams is 3.7 multiplied by USD whatever the US dirhams are how much ever they are 3.7 dirhams is equal to 1 US dollar so I'm gonna do this 3.7 into USD now notice it is giving you this cannot implic implicitly convert type double to int so the conversion because this is in floating point it's a double variable it's a float or double or decimal it's in points and you are doing this calculation in decimal and you want to convert this into integer this can never happen without explicit cost so you have to add explicit cost here which is please convert this to integer it says okay I'm gonna do this calculation and convert this to integers now no errors make sure you keep saving your work in the end what you would want to do is uh, AD, uh, AD TXT yes that is what it is supposed to be this one is uh, UAE TXT sorry so UAE TXT UAE TXT dot text is equal to whatever the result is in the string form so I'm gonna do that again let's play it um, over here so I it was form one here this is something which you don't have to do but I just change this to form two so that it starts form two which is this one which does the calculation so US dollars one should be three okay because in actual if you do the calculation and float it will show you 3.7 but since we're doing calculation in int only it is giving us uh, int numbers so 10 multiplied by 3.7 should be 37 so no problem it shows you the floating point but if it is a decimal value let's say 2 multiplied by 3.7 should be 7.4 so it won't show you 7.4 it will only show you 7 because we are converting this or downgrading this to an integer in this code it is explicit cost but if you do that whole thing in float float and float and there's in this case there's no need for costing because you're doing the calculation in, um, in float one second uh, when you're doing the calculation in in points you have to do costing and float because this may increase to double so in this case now it will show you 3.7 floating point numbers so that's the third exercise the <coughs> the fourth one which is the last one is to develop a form user enters is our age the program will display age in days and label as below in very uh, easy you have to multiply it by 365 and you'll see the dates the days so form 3 name age and show in a label is there a label here let's see somewhere okay there isn't a label so we need to add a label here to show something over here as this name and then the days thank you for using this program your name is Murray and your age is 3650 days so this is my uh, basically my result so I'm gonna just label this as name it's I'm gonna give its name as result label 
and its text should be nothing in the beginning because I'm going to only display the result after the calculate button gets hit so name should be having the name the name text box should be name txt and age in years should be age txt save it the calculate days or I'm gonna get, just close the toolbox first of all declare variables read user input calculate show result so declare variables for string variable for name is equal to name txt dot text no need to convert or typecast because it is already string and then int age is equal to int dot parse and you'll say age txt dot text read the user input uh, I would read the user input already so first of all I'm gonna declare it to zero or nothing so age is equal to in dot parse h txt dot text read the user input do the calculation um, I'm gonna declare the result variable result is equal to age multiply by 365 because that's the number of days in a year and then in the end you show the result result label dot text is equal to result dot to string okay and that's my let's save this that's my last exercise and I'm gonna just go here and change this to the launching form to 3 which is this one which I just developed calculate days let's run this name is something like this and for example if my age is 100 years calculate days 3,000 or 6,500 days wow so change this to let's say Ali and make it like 22 years 8,030 days okay now you need to display it like this thank you for using this program your name is Mariam and your age is this one so to do that you need to use string concatenation okay so to the to do the string concatenation we will write it like this um, show this one thank you for using this program your name is Mariam and your age is okay so we'll do this here thank you for using this program your name is and then plus and then you'll write name this name this is the string name so you did plus and then plus again and then another string your name is Mariam and your age in days is your age is what does it say in days is like this plus result plus days okay so maybe a dot here let's run this William 22 years calculate days and it shows this thank you for using this program your name is Mariam and your age and days is 8030 days okay so <coughs> maybe this is not needed here some column and I'm gonna save this and close this okay I hope this helped you thank you for watching I'm gonna pause this